Hi, I'm Mike Bernhardt here for Inside HPC. We're at SC10 in New Orleans. And uh, we're going to give you a glimpse of some of the things that have been going on at the conference on the first day and uh, peek into some of the things that you can expect to hear about tomorrow. So with me today, I found two of the more serious committee members uh, that were wandering around the floor today. I have with me Trish Dam Kroger and Jim Costa. Welcome, folks. Hello. Hey, thanks, Mike. So Trish, why don't you start us off by uh, giving us uh, an idea of what took place today? What was exciting about uh, the first day of the conference? So we had workshops and tutorials today, uh, part of the tech program, and we topped all numbers from previous years. I had Fantastic. workshops being to moved all over the place. We had lines out the door. So that is great. Tutorials the same way. Um, also got to hit the exhibit floor as it was getting built up. Some exciting new exhibits going up that we can talk about. Wow, awesome. What did you see uh, today, Jim? What was going on? Um, I think there's an excitement, the size, the, uh, we see that every year, but I think there's some new stuff coming onto the floor. Um, we back up with student clusters. We've got eight teams raring to go and start off tonight on a cluster challenge. Um, the disruptive technologies, which you can talk about a little bit. But I think the air is there. Um, the, the numbers are climbing, and so the excitement in the exhibitors, the, the excitement in the staff. I think it's a great city. Um, the attendees are, are really in for a good time. Cool. People tend to party in this town, don't they? Just a little. Just a yeah. little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'd say they party, and in, 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 so we were at the exhibitors party last night. But I think the fact of the matter is, is that uh, you know, they may have been partying last night, but they were packing the rooms today. Working hard. Working hard. Yeah. How about uh, tomorrow? What can we expect to see? Well, we're going to have a great keynote. So I would expect everybody to hit that. And the exhibits are going to be in full force, along with the tech program. So check out the NOAA exhibit, one of our new exhibitors. It has this great new globe, a 3D globe. And so that's one of my favorite, for sure. All right. Jeff? I think, um, as we're all hearing, cloud computing and exascale is coming into play. Um, one of the exhibitors was able to actually bring a, a, a pod right on, onto the exhibit floor. We've got enough space this year. Um, their people are showing uh, the best they have, and again, mm -hmm. the uh, I think Trish can tell you some more about what the numbers are and you know what the distributions are. But it's pretty excited, and, and again, the um, along with when we talk tech programs, a lot of people keep the tech papers, but there's uh, birds of a feather. There's all sorts of other meetings, and again, uh, this is the community. There, there's uh, close to 11,000 of us probably here this week, and we're going to see a lot of other side meetings and important meetings and a lot of. Uh, research and uh, advanced uh, computing going on here. Okay. So uh, would you share some of the stats oh, with us? The numbers? Yeah. So we have 338 exhibitors. Don't swing that hat too hard because I don't want I you know, to poke my eye I know, it could get hurt. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, the number of exhibitors? 338 wow. exhibitors, 47 wow. new ones, 25% um, are international, yeah. 146 are research exhibits and 183 are industry exhibits. So fabulous numbers. We're looking forward. We love seeing the new ones. Um, disruptive Technologies has grown to 12 wide, so a lot of new stuff on the floor yeah. for us. That's very impressive. So tell the folks who you are and you know, why you're here why at the conference here. this year. Yeah. So I'm the workshops chair this year. So Sunday and Monday, I've been running the workshops, part of the tech program. And next year, I get to do exhibits, which is one of the best jobs. Exhibits chair. Mm-hmm. Fantastic. Jim? So I am this year, I'm a deputy to tech programs, so I'm kind of one of the gophers who have to do the last minute stuff and get it all together. But there's a tremendous team. Um, people see the rooms and they see the, the talks and they see the papers come out, but there's a tremendous team that works over a year to put it all together. And so uh, I'm just a small tip of that. And next year, I'm actually, uh, I go to move up a half step or so. I'm going to be the co-chair for tech programs, which again, has hundreds of people working um, starting now to start putting together uh, what people will see next year in the technical program. Fantastic. So one big question that I have is, do the attendees that come to the conference have to wear these hats? Why wouldn't they? Wouldn't right. you want to, as an attendee, get into the New Orleans look? It's a yeah. Great. And, and I would say for some of us, with it's raining here today on Monday and the humidity is so uh, strong out there and it helps some of us who have a little more frizzy hair and uh, get around but uh, I've got to say for those who don't know you know, haven't been on the exhibit floor or on setup uh, one of the traditions is, is to have a drink card uh, to thank our uh, exhibitors bring them cold drinks while they're setting up their booths and 
it's kind of grown into a tradition that uh, we need to bring a little attention to ourselves. Not that having um, Trish ring a cowbell and, and calling out <laughs> doesn't attract attention, but uh, we need a little bit to, to show who we are and what we're doing in this conference. All right. It thanks. looks good. Thanks for joining us. For Inside HPC, I hope that you'll join us tomorrow. We'll give you another uh, recap of the day and a preview of the following day. And uh, thanks very much, guys. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks for having us. I think I just hurt myself. <laughs> <laughs>